Hi there, Mafia, and I'm back with some more Minecraft, so today I'll be showing off Computercraft version 1.3, which is a new update, which was released just a few days ago. I have already done the first video uh, showcasing modems right here, so I recommend you actually check out this video, uh, because today it will be entirely cons... well... Um, entirely about uh, those little machines, which are called turtles. So I'll be showing off all the functions and a few... Um, programs I have actually created, uh, some of which were actually inspired by the um, uh, what's it called computer craft no yeah computer craft trailer for 1.3. So uh, there are four different kind of turtles. So um, where did it? This is a regular turtle, so it doesn't have anything specific. Uh, this is a mining turtle. Um, it's a normal turtle, it's, except it has a pickaxe, which allows it to dig uh, through blocks. This is another normal turtle. Uh, but there's also a version actually carrying a modem. This is a turtle carrying modem, as I said. Uh, actually, yeah, there are turtles also carrying both a pickaxe and a modem. So, um, as far as the functions are concerned, to find out what they are, just type help um, turtle because turtle is the name of the API containing all the turtle functions um, so there are a few different kinds of functions those are dedicated to movement so there are uh, I think five so forward back up down turn left turn right so that's pretty much safe ex self-explanatory it's just allows the uh, computer to move in whatever direction or uh, rotate, whatever. And then there are three functions dedicated to its own inventory because computers or turtles have an inventory um, right here. They have nine slots, so um, you can select a slot by using turtle.select and then so um, giving the slot number. So this would be slot number one and this slot number nine, I believe. I've never used the inventory functions, so I can't really tell. Um, otherwise, there's turtle.getItemCount, which um, gives how many items you have in a stack, and turtle.getItemSpace, which um, indicates how much uh, space you have left in the stack. So imagine you have um, some wood, so just to remind you, the maximum stack is 64. Um, it will, and you have 40 blocks of wood, it will return 24 because you can, in the stack, you can carry another 24 uh, blocks of wood. Um, then you have the digging functions, so dig, dig up, dig down. Uh, those are pretty much self-explanatory, just like the place, so place, place up, place down. So these uh, will place down uh, the, no, place the block, uh, so in front, up or down, uh, depending on the function you're using, or well, it will put down the item which is selected, so I think it's only blocks it will put down, if it's an item I haven't tried. Um, detect, those are quite self-explanatory too, it will return true if there's a block, um, or if it detects a block um, above, in front or below, it won't say anything, uh, however, if it uh, finds a human or player. So, and finally, turtle dot drop will drop the selected item or stack. That's all um, for functions. So now I'll be actually showing a few examples of um, programs you can create. So there is a program called um, what's it called receive. So yeah, it will freeze. Um, turning the modem on, so I actually need to turn the modem on here, no, I actually have a program called send. It will ask what is a message to send, um, so there are two different messages. Uh, one is forward and another one is um, back. Uh, those are to actually, um, from a distance, ask, to the ask the turtle to go forward or backwards. So let's try forward, just like that. Notice the turtle actually moved forward. 
So yeah, you'll see the source code after and understand the way it works. Uh, the other, um, actually, I have to really set receive, just like that, and the sign the message I'll put back. The computer will rotate, um, go one block, uh, and uh, well, yeah, one block forward and uh, rotate again. So it will basically be in its initial position. So that's probably all. Um, I won't be showing the source code here because it's pretty much the same as uh, the computer here I've shown in uh, my previous video on modems. I'll just show it, um, receive. So I did receive just like that. Um, it uses the receiving functions from um, from the modem, of course. So uh, check out my video about that, and it will check first of all whether the computer's ID is number three. That's uh, just as safety, more or less. And so then, if the um, message is forward, the turtle will go forward using turtle dot forward function. If it's back, it will turn left twice and go forward, then turn left twice once again, thereby. Um, uh, getting you to your initial position. So, uh, what do we have else? <laughs> oh yes, uh, at the end of function it um, closes, well, disconnects from the internet, of course. So that's uh, how it works. If you want any of the source codes of uh, my programs, uh, just post a message and I'll try to reply as quickly uh, by um, putting the source code on pasty. So, uh, now it's exit I wanted to do. There we go. Can exit here too. There we exit. There we go. Um, yeah, this I would be showing is more like an experiment rather than a proper program. But basically, it uh, ignites the current below the computer and then moves uh, three blocks here. No, two blocks. Uh, turns around comes back here, turns around again, and it was basically to test how uh, the um, current ignites depending on the um, turtle's position. So yeah, before I come to that I'll do a small experiment right in front of you to know whether um, uh, what's called robot combats are actually possible. So uh, that means whether they are able to dig each other. So we have to use turtle dig, and yes it does work, it managed to destroy the computer and in fact, collect it. Um, but it will destroy all the data inside, unfortunately. Uh, one good thing, though, is that uh, you can actually connect turtles to uh, um, disk drives. So you can actually uh, pass the program through uh, thanks to a disk drive. So uh, here is a program called Circle, which will make the um, turtle go in a circle, more like a square, in fact. Uh, but what's good with that is that it will actually detect whether there are blocks or not um, in front and if they are, it will actually destroy them. Just like that. Uh, have I didn't do anything about human detection, so I know how to do that, but I'm just too lazy to figure out or to actually program that. Uh, as for the code, edit circle. There you go. So it. Um, actually takes care of movement. Uh, it will detect uh, whether there's a block uh, or not. If there is, it will dig. And then it will go forward because uh, whatever happens there won't be a block in front anymore. Um, then it will detect again. Oh yeah, because it moves two blocks um, ahead. Um, and once all that's done it will turn left. Yeah, once it's well, go one block here, one block there, it will turn in this direction. Uh, repeat the loop once again. Do the same thing. Do the same thing, and finally uh, look this way. Um, so that's how it works, basically. As I said last time, well, just a few seconds ago. Uh, you can just ask me the source code. I would be more than happy to actually uh, show it. Just we'll need some TNT now. So this um, little beast is my defense system, more or less. It's quite useless, in fact. 
Uh, so I add TNT in the inventory. Um, I'll quickly show you what it does. So it's called bombing the program, just like that. Uh, the computer will go five blocks ahead, launch TNT five blocks ahead again. It will do that um, until it's 20 blocks away, and then it will turn away and head back to its initial position. So as I said, it's quite useless, unless there are some underwater mobs attacking, which is quite unlikely. Never mind. So, um, as for the code, it uses the um, a bit more advanced program. I don't think I actually mentioned um, an operator called Modulo. Um, so basically, it's basically like a division, except it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to explain. Um, I recommend you actually check out a proper tutorial about programming. Um, but um, basically, whenever it will count, uh, well, a loop will uh, actually be initialized after um, setting the output to uh, true uh, below the computer. It will uh, go on 20 times, um, so that will allow the computer to move 20 blocks forward. And whenever um, the value of i modulo 5 is equal to 0, so when it's actually, uh, whenever you divide uh, by 0, there are isn't anything after um, the dot, comma, I don't know how to say that in English, it will uh, actually place down the TNT and thereby igniting it because uh, this current right below. Uh, once that's done it will turn left twice um, going in the other direction therefore and um, come back to its initial position turning back to its the normal direction setting the output to false and um, thereby ending the program. Oh wow the rev is quite bad around here. Actually, I'll Set those settings, yep. Okay, so I think that's probably all about um, computers. Oh, well, turtles, I will be probably doing more videos. I will try to do a tic-tac-toe with turtles, um, and basically the way it will work is that you can actually play against a turtle to tic-tac-toe. I have a quite a precise idea how it will, in fact, work, and... Um, yeah, it uh, shouldn't be too hard. Um, the only big change will actually be the AI. But um, I do have an idea how it work. If I actually uh, find the time to make such a program, I'll post a video um, to let you know. So that's all for my uh, 1.3 update video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you did or if you found it was useful. Um, I would really enjoy if you actually uh, rated, commented or m and or subscribed. It would be quite helpful to me and yeah, that's all for today. See you next time.